Okay, so I haven't done a field event actually so far, so let's do a field event, alright. So even though field is not my specialty, but we'll screw it, let's do a field event. So, women's long jump, okay. What do we got the women's long jump? Okay, so that is actually, okay, oh, snap, okay. So, before I get to the big favorite, alright, before I get into the big favorites, who is more likely to come out on top between one of the youngsters? Okay, so I got like three semi youngsters, you know, tw under 23s or something. So, first of all, we got, uh... Akelia Smith, I think that's how you said. Akelia Smith, 2020 or 22 of Jamaica, 6.85. Uh, 22 years old of Jamaica. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna say Asani. I'm gonna say Asani because I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Tr I mean, listen, I've already butchered like, a couple names on here, but uh, 6.91 from Germany, 20, 21 years old so far as of 2020, as of the 2024 season. Uh, Jasmine Moore, uh, 6.93 for the USA, 22 years old as well. So who? Okay. Who do I think is the most likely to medal? I don't know if they are gonna medal, but because there's a, that's actually quite a bit of experience in here. There's actually quite the bit of experience in here, and any of these can medal. But uh, boy, good question, good question. Um, either Smith or Moore. Well, I think I mean because Moore has the the longest jump of them all, but. Will she be able to replicate that at the at the big pressurized moment? Well, I mean, to be fair, all three of these, I'm not even sure if they'll medal, but if I had to pick one... Um... Okay, actually, no, I don't know about Smith, actually. No, I don't know about Smith, but maybe more. I might have to go pick with more. I mean, yeah, okay, yeah, I know. Kind of, It seems kind of safe to just go with the one with the with the longest jump, but... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure, but... I'll, you know what, screw it. I'll just pick more. Do I think she's... I think... The best she's got is like a third place medal, a third place medaling, but I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. So, uh, okay. There's other stuff. Okay. There's other stuff. Uh, okay. EC or SA Broom, SA Broom, uh, Nigeria six. So right now, okay. So right now she's one of the, the lowest high, uh, of the long jumpers at 684. Th currently this season, 684. So yeah, but she did win. A world silver at the last championships no gold medals yet so i think for her this could be another another indoor season where it's like okay this may very well be her best chance but having said that is she gonna win the, the gold medal this can she redeem herself again i'm not so sure i am not so sure that i don't think she'll even medal i'm not so sure she'll medal because there's a lot of experience in here too like there's definitely a lot of experience but i think like I'm not sure if she'll be in the metal contention because, okay, when looking at these, right, you've got um, Mihambo, uh, my, my, Mihambo, I think, from uh, Malika, Mal Malika, I don't remember, okay, I'm butchering everyone's name, but l l listen, for starters, we, we got her in this tournament, right now, 30 years old, she is the Olympic champion of the Tokyo Olympics, so she could also come up with a performance. You also have the likes of Ivana Valeta right there of Serbia, 33 years old. So she's right, she's got the pass because she was not only the indoor world the underworld champ indoor world champion of 2022, but she as well was the world champion of this recent um outdoor track and field season in, the, in at the worlds in so she could be she could pull up something. Will she pull up something? I'm not so sure. I mean, she could definitely pull in a medal position, but. Or who knows, maybe she might not even compete at all. I'm not so sure. I haven't really looked into it, but she definitely has a chance if she were to go into the tournament, but whether she'll replicate it, who knows. But the big one, the very big one right now, and I think this is the performance that, that caught my that for me caught my eye. Terrace Tara Davis Woodhall. Uh 718. She is definitely one of the favorites. With with her results and it's practically further away than everyone else on, on, on this list that I've mentioned. It's, a 7.18, like, 24, she, she's not a good age. This, I think this is definitely her tournament. I think she has to perform at this tournament, and if someone's going to take it, it's going to be one of the more experienced ones. I think it could be someone like Ivana to take the indoor world, the indoor title. But having said that, maybe she might not get it either. Maybe it could be a complete different winner that we don't even know. Um, in terms of who's more likely to get it, I'm not so sure. Uh, listen, uh, Tara Davis, big favorite here. Ivana, world champion of last se of last season, the defending world indoor champion. She could try and go one more time for this for the indoor championship. As for SA Broom, 
who knows maybe a long jump like she might have a lot uh, uh she might have another chance at 30 but will she have i mean because right now she's got us with the world silver medal of 2022 so but what she needs is that gold she needs a gold medal i think she hasn't got a gold medal at, at the big at the biggest uh tournament so listen she could get a medal what or actually i don't know i'm not so sure about her getting a medal maybe she might miss out on this one and then go, come back uh for 2026 that is my guess as for who i have to win this tournament or to win the long jump world finals i think i'm gonna pick tara davis woodhall uh yeah i think that's who i got as my winner and that's i mean the only way she loses is if there's like a shock upset on the day so that's who i have to win the long jump and as for everyone else well listen it's anyone's game it's anyone's game at this point